में यूज अ सूटेबल आइडेंटिटी टू गेट ईच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग प्रोडक्ट सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज x प्लस थ्री इंटू एक्स प्लस थ्री वॉट यू हैव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज x प्लस थ्री इंटू एक्स प्लस थ्री चिल्ड्रन सो दे आर आस्किंग अस टू सिंप्लीफाई ऑल द गिवन क्वेश्चन अंडर दिस फर्स्ट में यूजिंग विच एवर द आइडेंटिटी सूटेबल अकॉर्डिंगली यू नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट लुक हियर Here we have multiplication of two binomials. Is no x plus three is one binomial, x plus three is another binomial. So instead of my x into x plus three again plus three into x plus three instead of doing that, what I will do is this x plus three into x plus three directly I can write it as x plus three whole square, isn't it? If at all you are not understanding, how did she write? I will show you the same thing. You will get, but I will do it here. See roughly fast x plus three into x plus three I have multiplication of binomial with the binomial first term x into x plus three plus three into x plus three that is how we do usually multiply x inside three inside x into x x square plus x into three three x again plus three into x three x three plus three nine so x square plus three plus three six x Plus nine, we get on expanding. So x plus three into x plus three is same. It can directly be written as x plus three whole square. So so x plus three whole square x plus three. See if minus sign was there, that is different. It was of the form a plus b into a minus b. Here, children, by looking at the problem only, you should try to analyze. Which identity? See, you are learning only three identities. So you anyhow you know all the three identities means the given question is in the form of which identity, which identity I should apply, or one step simplification like this. If you do, will I get any identity like that? And now you should learn how to find out and all. So x plus three into x plus three means directly I can write it as x plus three whole square since same terms are there in both the brackets. Now this x plus three whole square is in which identity form? Of course, it is in the identity one form that is a plus b whole square. So x plus three whole square is in the form of identity a plus b whole square means on expanding what you get a square plus two ab plus b square. So let us apply the identity. So x plus three whole square. Shall I write the identity? Since this is first problem, I am writing children. Next problem onwards, I will not write, and you should write in your class words. A plus b whole square identity. I am writing a square plus two ab plus b square is the identity which we learned. In place of a plus b, now I have x plus three whole square. Here, a is x, b is three. Like this, you make habit or practice of writing, children. What is the value of a and what is the value of b? If at all minus sign is there, then you will not go wrong by substituting. So a is x and b is three. Now a square. What is a? X square. So in place of a square, I will write x square. Now here multiplication is there. Make habit of writing all the terms in the bracket. Two into. Wait, let the basic disturbance go away. Now. Two I wrote in the bracket. A into B. What is A? X. What is B? Three. See directly you can write. If you have this, then direct substitution will be very easy. If at all you have minus sign also, then you won't go wrong. So I am telling you to write. So two into A into B. Two into X into three. Again B square. What is B? Three. Three square. We wrote. So substitution part is over. Next is simplification part. So LHS I will write x plus three whole square is equal to x square. Further you cannot simplify, so write it as x square itself plus numbers. Let us multiply constants. Let us multiply first. Two into three six. Only one variable x is there. Write it as it is. Two into x into three is six x plus three square. Three square is nine. X square plus six x plus nine. That's all. So this is how you will solve. First thing is to learn this and all you can do. I hope if you do the substitution correctly, simplification part you will do. Which identity to apply matters a lot. 
See, when I actually multiplied x plus 3 into x plus 3 without identity, I mean, yes, without applying identity also, I got x square plus 6x plus 9. If you remember, I erased this part. The same thing we got. So, we use this identity. Similarly, we shall solve all the problems now. Second question is, 2y plus 5 into 2, same, 2y plus 5. So, as we did here, here also you have 2y plus 5 into 2y plus 5. So, I can write together it as 2y plus 5 whole square, where it is of again of the form a plus b whole square, where a is equal to 2y and b is equal to 5. A is equal to 2y and b is equal to 5 children. So, once I have my a and b value, the substituting and applying in identity doesn't become difficult for me. a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, in place of a plus b, I have 2y plus 5 whole square. That is equal to a square and 2y whole square. Why? In place of a, I have a is 2y, b is 5. So, only I am telling you, make habit of writing individually what are a and b values. A square under 2y whole square plus 2 into a. What is a? 2y into b. What is b? 5 plus b square under 5 square. Now, next step. Again, 2y plus 5 whole square is equal to 2y whole square. In place of a square, we have children 2y whole square. 2y whole square means this square should be applied both to 2 and y. So, first if we apply this square to 2, 2 square is 4. y square is simply y square. So, 2y whole square is 4y square. You should be careful in this part and all. If whole square means, it means it is applied to both the numbers here. Plus, 2, 2 is 4. Multiply all the numbers first, constants first and then go to the variables. 2, 2 is 4. 4, 5 is 20. Only one variable y is there. So, y plus 5 square is 25. 5 square is 25. So, what did we get? 2y plus 5 whole square is 4y square plus 20y plus 25. That's also. So, we should stop the solution at this point. Further, we cannot simplify. Like this, you should solve all the problems. Which identity you should check. Now, Third one, if you check, it is 2a minus 7 into 2a minus 7. Here also same terms are repeated as we did in first and second. But the change what you observe is here both the problems plus was there in between, here minus is there. So, if same two terms means, I can write it in the form 2a minus 7 whole square. 2a minus 7 into 2a minus 7 na 2a minus 7 whole square and you can write so, which identity form it is? A minus B whole square formally there. So, 2A minus 7 is A minus B whole square form. Where our A value is 2A and B value is 7. See, compare. In place of A what you have? 2A. In place of B what you have? 7. Like this if you write children. Next you can easily simplify it. Now we shall write the identity. What is it? A minus B whole square is equal to, what is the expansion? A square minus 2AB plus B square. In place of A minus B whole square, I have 2A minus 7 whole square. So what is my A value? 2A. So A square and in place of that I should substitute 2A. 2a whole square. Now all the terms individually in the bracket. 2 into a. a is 2a into b. b is 7 plus b square and right. It is 7 square. It is 7 square. Now 2a minus 7 whole square is equal to as we did here children 2y whole square. Here we have 2a whole square. Means this square should be applied both to 2 and a. So, first if we apply for 2, 2 square is 4. A whole square is this simply A square. So, 2A whole square is 4A square. Minus 2, 2's are numbers first. 2, 2's are 4. 4, 7's are 28. Only one variable A is there. Write it as it is. Plus 7 square. 7 square. 7 into 7 is 49. 
nine. That's all. So this question, what they ask the third one is of the form a minus b whole square. So we wrote the identity, substituted, and simplified. This is about the third problem, children. Fourth question, fraction is there. You need not worry. Again, it is very easy problem only. Fourth question is 3a minus half that is 1 by 2 into 3a minus 1 by 2. Here it is of the same form, same numbers are there in both the brackets. So can I write once as we did from the previous problems as 3a minus 1 by 2 whole square. Again which identity it is referring to a minus b whole square. So this is of the form a minus b whole square where a is 3a and b is half or 1 by 2. a value a no 3a, b value a no 1 by 2 or half. Which identity form it is? a minus b whole square form. So let us write the identity. a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a minus b jagdali what do we have? 3a minus 1 by 2 whole square is equal to a square. What is a? 3a. So 3a whole square minus 2 in one bracket a. What is a? 3a into b. What is b? It is 1 by 2 plus b square under b is 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 whole square like that. Substitution we did. Again now 3a minus 1 by 2 whole square is equal to 3a whole square means 3 square a square. 3 square is 9. a square is a square. Minus as it is. Look here children. While simplifying this 2 ones are 2 ones are. You can cancel it off. So you are left with only 3a now. Plus 1 by 2 whole square. See multiplication if only numerator also. In case of 3a whole square we are applying square separate into 3 as well as a and we wrote as 9a square. Similarly, in case of fractions also, 1 by 2 whole square means this power 2. We should apply both through the numerator as well as the to the denominator. So, 1 by 2 whole square, right, is like 1 square divided by 2 square. You are applying this square both to numerator and the denominator. Children. So, one more step we shall write. 3a minus 1 by 2 whole square is 9a square minus 3a. Plus 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. Plus 1 by 4. That's all. This is how you solve children. By looking at the fraction, please don't get panic. It's very simple. But see the simplification. How it will get cancelled. Whole square. Wherever I use the word whole square. That is the reason. See without meaning we don't use any word in mathematics. Simply I can say no, 3a square. No, we say 3a whole square. 1 by 2 square you can tell. See 1 by 2 square. What some people what you understand? 1 by 2 square. 2 square you are telling means we should apply 2 square only to 2. Yes in this case 1 square you will get 1 only so you don't go mistake. 3 by 2 square if you tell. Then 3 by 2 square. Square should be applied only to the denominator 2 you will understand. So we use the word whole square. 1 by 2 whole square. 3 by 2 whole square. 5 by 7 whole square. 3 a whole square. 2 by whole square like that. Only individually see a square is a square. We don't say a whole square, b whole square. No. If individually you are writing square, square, square. Two terms together or division type means whole square. We will tell. You should know all this. So that is about the fourth problem. Now we shall solve the fifth problem. See decimal is there. 1.1. M minus 0 0.4 into 1.1 M plus 0 0.4. See till now either we used A plus B whole square identity or A minus B whole square identity. Look at this fifth question. 1.1 M into 0 0.4 into 1.1 M plus 0 0.4. As we solve the other, all the four problems, same terms are there in the bracket. But in the pre uh, previous four problems, if you have observed children, if minus is there in the first bracket, the second bracket also minus was there. 
If plus was there, the second bracket also plus was there. So you used to write it as a plus b whole square form or a minus b whole square form. But here if you observe, the terms are same. See 1.1m, 1.1m, 0.4, 0.4. But look at these signs. Here minus is there, here plus is there. So simply you cannot write it as 1.1m minus 0.4 whole square. No, 1.1m plus 0.4 whole square. No, you cannot write like that. If you observe children, this is of the form of third identity. A plus B into A minus B. Alba. So the given question is in the form of third identity. That is A plus B into A minus B form. First minus is there. Don't worry. It is of the form A minus B into A plus B. Since multiplication is there. Either way you can tell it is not a problem. A plus B into A minus B naro held bodu. A minus B into A plus B naro held bodu. It doesn't make any difference. Since multiplication is there. Hangagi. This is of the form now a minus b into a plus b. So which is equal to a square minus b square. So how you will write for this problem is children. This is of the form. A plus b into a minus b. Where a is 1.1m. And B is 0.4. B value is 0.4. After writing this, write the identity. A minus B is first. No, so we should write A minus B first. A minus B into A plus B is A square minus B square. So in place of A minus B, what do I have? 1.1M minus 0.4 into 1.1M plus 0.4. Is equal to a square minus b square under a square you know 1.1 into m whole square. See two terms 1.1 is the variable constant is the variable is the term only. So whole square and make minus as it is b square. What is in place of b square? See I will not tell 0.4 whole square only one term 0.4. So 0.4 square. So we substitute it. Next step what we should do. One point one m minus zero point four into one point one m plus zero point four is equal to see one point one into m whole square. I said means square should be applied for one point four one as well as for m. So what is one point one into one point one? We should find it out first. See one one is a very difficult table, no children. See one one is a one, one one is a one. Plus one one is a one, one one is a one. See one plus zero one, one plus one two. This one as it is. After decimal point one digit is there. After decimal point one digit is there. So one plus one two digits means from this side one two one point two one. Here you should keep the decimal place. This multiplication and all you hope you know. I hope so. Do. You may feel it difficult, so I am doing it. I can directly write 1.1 into 1.1 is 1.21. So what should I write in the place of this 1.1 m whole square? 1.21. 1.1 square when I do, I got 1.21. For m also you should apply square, no? So just m square minus 0.4 whole square is there. So you should multiply. Find out what is. 0.4 into 0.4. 4 4 is a 16 one carry. 4 0 is a 0 plus 1 5. Plus 0 4 is a 0. 0 0 is a 0. 0 5 and 6. 6 5 0. See after decimal point 1 digit. After decimal point 1 digit. Totally 2 digits. From here if you keep 1 2. And the decimal point in the place. So it is 0.56. What is 0 0.56 minus 0 0.4 whole square? 0.4 whole uh, square is 0 0.56. See, what we did here is the given question is of the form of identity a plus b into a minus b. 
what is a value 1.1 and what is b value 0.4 so if we write the given question in this identity form a minus b jagdali 1 minus 1.1 m minus 0.4 a plus b jagdali 1.1 m plus 0.4 we will write is equal to a square minus b square what is a square a is 1.1 m whole square you will write similarly what is b square 0.4 whole square 1.1 m whole square under square should be applied for 1.1 as well as m. So 1.1 square under 1.21 m square bantu. Hange 0.4 into 0.4 is 0.56. That's all children. Like this you need to solve. This is about the fifth question.